What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today we look at Microsoft Edge. Apparently they have a slight visual refresh uh, coming along, still in development. Uh, you even have to enable some uh, Edge flag in order to show it. So let's jump in and see what they've changed and how it looks. So the first thing you're gonna need to see this visual refresh that even as of recording right now, I haven't even seen yet. Um, you need to enable a Windows 11 visual update flag on Edge Canary channel. Apparently it only works on Edge Canary channel. You enable this Edge flag right here and I'll put it on the screen. It is edge colon slash slash flags. And then all you would do is you search for Windows 11 like you see that I have done and you see enable Windows 11 visual updates right now it sets a default i'm going to just hit enable and then it says we'll change after restart edge so we'll jump some of the differences that i noticed right off the bat uh, up top here they have included the transparency effect or a transparency feature called mica if i'm correct about that um it's just a it's a feature that allows the window of edge to pick up the background images like in, in a blurriness. So if I shrink this and you see how I have this general uh, background on it, you see as I move the title bar across, you can see it's changing based off of the colors that I'm using in the background. So it's picking up the background images color, just like if I was to pick up here, it would pick up the background images color. So it's picking up your desktop backgrounds color, which is pretty nice uh, and pretty cool to see. Another thing they did was just like how Windows 11 that I am currently running to showcase this video, uh, where you can right click and you see different kinds of menu bars and different kinds of things, uh, even here. They've done the same thing here in Edge, where if you click this dot settings uh, menu bar, in fact, it's probably a little easier to see in a white screen. You can see that it's kind of transparent. You can kind of see more. And I have the original Edge as an example, where if I click the menu bar, it's not really that see-through, but it's pretty see-through. And even these right-click menus, you see the fonts and everything like that. Whereas if you close it and hit the right-click menu, you see the fonts are much bigger. You see it's picking up the background where this uh, Wondershare market review is. You can see it's picking it up compared to the other Edge. In fact, yeah, right here, where if I right-click, it doesn't really pick it up. It's kind of just opaque. So that's another thing, uh, a feature that just Windows 11 as a whole has, uh, where if I right click, it kind of picks up what's what's in the background and kind of bleeds it through to the to the text layer. Um, so that's one thing. And then another thing that I noticed, it was under the settings of the whole application. If I click it, and then if I go over to appearance, the drop down right here, all of these selections other than theme area, the theme it shows this it's not just one flat layer anymore compared to the original edge if i went to settings here you see this is the same but down here it's a flat layer all the other customizations are a flat layer in fact when you show favorites bar and all these little buttons that it can show it doesn't show the icon of it on the visual refresh version of edge canary that will eventually go into the normal channels you see it shows all the icons that will show or all the buttons that will show if you check off things and what exactly they'll look like so that's much easier on the eye if you're just like my mom that even though know, she'll never go into the settings of her browser ever but if you're just that person who's wondering what things are and when you add things into your browser you'll know that oh okay the home button is going to show if i check this off uh, and this is what the home button looks like. Okay, so now I know that this is the home button. This is the home button. They told me it's consistent. Whereas if I go here and I'm trying to figure out, okay, I wanna find out what the home button will be, show home button. It doesn't show me what it looks like. So if I check it off, you'll be wondering like, oh, what what does the home button look like? Even though it does look like a house. So it just makes it more easily interactable to a normal person, uh, even though normal people will never actually go into their settings of their browser. So that's that's a few things. And then another thing too is the division between uh, selections in the settings. I'm mainly gonna look at this appearance panel. Uh, it lifts it off. It's no longer flat, like I said. It's no longer just the text is on this background layer. They put another layer on top of it, which is these rectangles. And then they put the text on top of that. So it just creates that way to know this is inside. This is 
an area separate from the background. It lifts it off the background. That's kind of a whole thing with Windows 11 is dividing th text from its background, actually showing buttons that are selectable and not just this is text printed. Can I click on this? So that's another thing that is introduced in uh, this thing. So kind of just everything is kind of segmented, just like how the Windows 11 uh, settings shows it. See Windows 11 settings, it shows things uh, separated from the background. One thing I do wish though, is if they would actually make it like the settings app right here, where it would lift off just the same way, but it doesn't seem to do that. These are kind of two different design styles, but we'll see what happens in the final. I still wish they would bring it show it like this in here and across the whole OS and anything they make. Um, so there's not too much different on this whole thing. They just kind of showed more transparency, more uh, ways that when you right click text bleeds through the background and things like that. Right now it's pretty bare bones. They are concurrently adding things to it. So we'll see as the developments happen. I'm actually excited for Edge 100 because right now we are on Edge 93, so I'm curious what Edge 100 brings um, when it fully comes out, what major refresh that will be. I'm sure that might be actually this refresh for Windows 11 in the fall. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about these slight, slight changes on Edge. It's not that much of a change. It's just things are more easily selectable and things like that, but it's subtle and it works. And I found it right here. It's also on their Twitter page, just like that. You can see their little differences, just like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys later, probably looking at the Office 365 Windows 11 refresh. Take care.